Well, as the 2015 Bridgestone World Solar Challenge comes to an end, the last thing the teams do is a parade through the city of Adelaide. This is a chance for the teams to thank the city of Adelaide for its hospitality and also a chance for the people from Adelaide to see the Bridgestone World Solar cars for the last time for this year's challenge. Once the teams pack all their cars up, ready to be sent back to their countries, the teams then make their way to the eagerly awaited award ceremony. Okay, we're here with what I've been affectionately calling the M&Ms, the Michigan mums who are here, who have travelled all the way across the earth to come and witness their children doing an incredible job. We'll start with you. What's it like following your son on this amazing journey? Well, it's been fantastic. A little scary because he's one of the drivers, but uh, very exciting. It, it is. It is quite. We've got to be honest. It is quite dangerous on those roads with those road trains. Was that terrifying to see? Indeed, it was. Their car weighs less than 500 pounds with the driver, and the road trains are huge. So, I've had a knot in my stomach for four days. And it's interesting because you hear some people go, "Oh, they're kind of the, the techie guys," but what they're doing out there is, is it's, it's, they're not sitting on a on a desk with a soldering iron playing with a printed circuit board. They're they're out there giving it their all on the roads, aren't they? Yeah, I, I don't think they're the stereotypical engineering geeks. These guys are are brave and tough. So you said geeks. I was avoiding using that word. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your first time to come and witness the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge. What what surprised you the most? Uh, the excitement of the community, the excitement of the teams, the drive, watching these young men just turn into competitive um, leaders and the best, as Michigan would say. Yeah, fantastic. And and I've got to, I've got to ask you that the. the the skills they get on the road, I know a lot of the students, and, and maybe your son included, take time off their university education, off their schooling to come and do this. Do you think the education they get here can't be taught in a classroom? Absolutely. The things that they've learned while they were going to school doing this kind of a project has been incredible. They've had opportunities that most students would never ever have and this is what's going to make the difference between them and, a reg and another student that has been in the, in the program that they've been in. They've learned so much more about teamwork, about camaraderie, about thinking outside the box to solve problems that can help us today and tomorrow. It's been a wonderful opportunity for them. Well, on, on behalf of Australia we've got to say welcome. Thank you so much for coming and my last question, are you proud? <laughs> How do I know you were going to say that? Thank you so much. All right, my name is Darren Chen. I'm from Stanford University in California. The best thing about the solar race is uh, after working on a car for two years, kind of making something that sometimes you need to explain as a boat or nobody knows what you're doing, coming over to Australia and all of a sudden there's 40, 41 other teams that are doing this crazy thing that you're doing and it's awesome being able to see the other cars, race with them. They understand your problems, you understand their problems, and uh, especially rewarding is the camaraderie after the race. Uh, at an event like this where you just get to hang out, swap stories, and just reminisce on the good time it was on the race. The Bridgestone World Solar Challenge was a great experience for our team. It created a lot of um, engineering opportunities, team building skills, and a lot of life experiences that we're gonna take back with us to the States and hopefully better our futures. Yeah, hi, I'm Magnus, Team Arrow. I'm Alex from Team Arrow. I'm Jason Queen. Yeah, and uh, I think the thing's been life-changing. The, the whole event's been crazy. It'll, I'll never have that again. Yeah, for me, it's sort of about uh, breaking the boundaries, expanding my barriers, so to speak, and, you know, getting out there, getting amongst it. I think for me, it's just about having fun. I mean, I've had absolutely amazing times with the team. We've gone through amazing challenges, and we've just had fun the whole time. And we hope to come back for 2017. Hi, I'm Anne Xiao, I'm from Western Sydney University and my experience so far with the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge has been absolutely amazing. It's well allowed me to meet all these amazing people which I would never have ever met in this entire world if we hadn't congregated together in Adelaide. Um, I'm actually going to Europe next year so I get to meet these amazing people again. I would never have been able to do that without the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge and also I've had actual um, job opportunities arise from this so I wouldn't have had that opportunity um, elsewhere as well so I'm extremely thankful and extremely extremely excited to be here. Team Arrow, great to see you guys. Representatives from 24 countries. 24 countries. 
Electric Challenger Class winner of the 2015 Bridgestone World Title Challenge is Nuna. Nuna. Folks, that's it for the 2015 Bridgestone World Solar Challenge. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed watching it as much as I've enjoyed presenting it to you. I'm Shane Jacobson. You have been watching the 2015 Bridgestone World Solar Challenge. Until next time, stay safe.